In the most basic sense, neurodevelopmental care is about aligning the extrauterine experience of the NICU with the intrauterine experience of pregnancy. The lights, sounds, tastes, and tactile sensations that are experienced in utero during pregnancy are as important to the developing brain as they are to the developing body. These sensations experienced by the fetus during pregnancy are designed to expose the fetus to the appropriate stimulation at the appropriate time. When a pregnancy is carried to full term, a baby has had a chance to experience these sensations in a redundant and predictable manner, forming healthy neuronal connections inside the brain. Additionally, the gravity-free environment allows free movement as the womb provides 360-degree proprioceptive input and constant resistance that encourages muscle recoil and bone formation, leading the baby to develop a strong, healthy musculoskeletal system. Unfortunately, sometimes pregnancies conclude early and babies are born prior to reaching full term. Because each experience of pregnancy is vital to the developing brain and body, preterm birth can negatively impact the baby by taking the baby away from the intrauterine environment before the brain and body are fully developed. Thus, premature babies in the NICU are faced not only with medical challenges, but with neurodevelopmental ones. It is crucial that NICU professionals understand the ramifications of preterm birth on the developing brain and body and implement interventions in the NICU environment to encourage development along a healthy continuum. As a fetus develops in utero, it's intended to have a certain sequence of experiences that go along the same continuum as the development of the brain, body, and sensory organs. In a way, having the right experiences at the right time meets the baby's expectations. When the baby's expected experiences occur as they should, that is to say, the baby's expectations are met, the baby's brain is able to develop neuronal connections that foster development of normal future milestones. Then, providing experience expectant input in the NICU is providing an extrauterine experience that closely matches the baby's expectations. Historically, not very well. But over the last couple of decades, we've come to understand a great deal more about what it means to provide good neurodevelopmental care. For example, common NICU interventions such as bright lights, loud sounds, and painful procedures may now be recognized as noxious to the developing brain as they do not in any way mimic the intrauterine environment because a failure to adequately temper these negative influences can result in unhealthy brain development, many NICUs have taken steps to do just that. Interventions such as cycled lighting, procedural pain protocols, and noise level indicators are intended to help curb the negative consequences of these necessary components of care. Additionally, the importance of positioning has come to light over recent years, with companies like Dandelion at the leading edge of optimizing position to improve overall neurodevelopmental care. According to TOSO in 2015, the main objectives in infant positioning are provide support and posture for movement, optimize skeletal development and biomechanical alignment, provide controlled exposure to a varied proprioceptive, tactile, and visual stimuli, and promote calmness and aid in regulating the behavioral state. We can take what we know about meeting a baby's expectations and providing the right input at the right times and use it to critically evaluate the ability of a NICU positioner to meet a baby's needs. And looking at the Dandel Roo 2, the Dandel Wrap Stretch, and accessories like the Dandel Pal and Cozy Cub, we see products that are inherently designed to provide an experience that closely aligns with the intrauterine environment. Think about the way a baby is positioned inside the womb. The baby's extremities are flexed. The trunk is in a C curve with the head and neck in midline. The pelvis is maintained in a posterior pelvic tilt. The hands and arms consistently return to self-calming position in midline. The feet are braced, which promotes proper flexion and bone mineralization. And the baby can move freely, yet is always pressed back into the flexed, contained position that fosters normal musculoskeletal development. When you examine this ideal state against the positioning of a baby in a dandelion positioning aid, you can see the similarities right away. These products provide the correct basis for fully customizable and developmentally appropriate positioning, including the revolutionary ability to provide tactile muscular stimulation through 360 degree proprioceptive input. At Dandelion, our goal is to consistently provide NICU patients with flexion, containment, midline positioning, the ability for free movement and recoil, and 360 degree proprioception. Neurodevelopmental care with dandelion is superior, and here's why. It's better for babies because it promotes healthier brain growth by more closely aligning with the intrauterine experience. It's better for parents because it provides quality and evidence-based care to optimize outcomes for their infants. 
It's better for nurses because it facilitates more focused care by supporting the baby's physiologic and neurodevelopmental needs. And it's better for hospitals because it provides a more protective NICU environment by ensuring calm and containment, promoting sleep, and supporting life-sustaining medical equipment. So it's clear, dandelion products are superior choice for your hospital, for your babies, for their parents, and for your nurses.